everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you. Once again, welcome back to Mob on TV. Episode number two, lesson number two, Eric Clapton. Remember, become a subscriber of Mob on TV. Let's get started. Okay, so today's two different licks we're going to be looking at. Two Eric Clapton licks, mainly from his cream days, which is my more favorite error. So we're going to be in the key of A, again, in standard tuning, using the A minor pentatonic position starting on the fifth fret. I'll play it for you. We're also going to be using the next position of the pentatonic, also, again, the key of A. We're going to be using the bottom half of the position, but I'll play the whole position for you. Okay, so the first lick is starting with a root note. Now, normally, I would steer away from bending the root note because the next available note in the pentatonic would be a step and a half away. But Eric did something that's super cool. So he's doing the 10th fret, in this case it's our A note, our root note, on the B string. And he's going to bend it a step and a half, like this. Then to the 8th fret, back to the 10th to the G string sliding from the 9th fret to the 7th fret to the 5th fret with a quarter step bend to the 7th fret D with vibrato back to your root note A. So all together, step and a half bend faster you see how important that quarter step bend is to just add a little bit of almost you're not quite to the major third you're in between it so again Okay, the next riff, still in the same position, uh, but we're going to be using between the 5th and the 7th fret. We're going to bend the 7th fret G string, and then followed up by the next note, which would be the 5th fret on the B string, which is the same note. So we're bending this. This is our D note up to an E. Then to the E note on the B string, 5th fret, three times. You can see my pick hand down, up, down. So bend. So we're bending this D note to an E, which is the unison note of the next note. And of course you've heard this probably in cream, like this. So Eric would have a tendency to repeat that. The next part of the riff is followed by a quick pull-off. From the 8th fret to the 5th fret B string, 7th fret G, 5th fret B, rolling your finger from the B string to the G string, of course a quarter step bend too, 7th fret G, rolling your finger again to the 7th fret D back to the root. That technique, so first we had the first part, a unison bend, bending into the same note that we're going to be playing after the bend. You can see the second lick is a bit more involved than the first lick I showed you. So again, second lick. Pull off. Roll your finger. Roll your finger. 
So the idea of rolling your finger from one string to the next saves so much time. Instead of physically picking up your finger and moving it to the next string, it just takes too long. So the first string, the B string, I'm catching a little bit more on the bottom side of my finger to roll it to the G string. And of course the quarter step bend that Eric's so famous for. And now from seven to seven. So again. So you could put those two licks together if you want to. Instead of resolving to the root note, I would go right into the second lick. So this is going to be our third lick. This is sort of my interpretation of the two of them put together. They work great together. They work great separate too as well. You can even keep repeating this until your heart is content. The quick pull off that he does too, he's got, he has a very unique way of doing that phrasing. It's not too fast, but it's more of a sharper pull. Quarter step bend is such a cool thing to do. Even there, too. Two super cool licks from Eric Clapton, another one of my favorite guitar players. Remember, this is only week number two. There's eight more weeks coming up of more licks to come from more great guitar players. Remember my website, mattoreband.com, my YouTube channel, Mob on TV. Become a subscriber. There's so many cool videos I've done, including all my gear tutorial videos on equipment. Next week, Jimmy Page. Remember, I do teach privately, so message me. Be happy to help you out. We'll see you next week. Thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.